Hello, Stefan here with Liquidity with a video on the very commonly used and very important German adverb gern or gerne, which is really the same word. Gern, gerne, same word. Liquidity. If you're enjoying this video, please give it a like. Check out my other videos. If you like my videos in general, please subscribe to my channel and uh, leave comments and questions. Gern or gerne, which is really the same word, is used as an adverb. The little word gern is essential for German, especially for conversational German. It's used very, very commonly. It essentially expresses that you very much like to do something. It helps people say something that they somewhat strongly like or almost or kind of love doing something or love someone or something. And it is not easy to translate literally into English. It literally means something like pleasurably or enjoyably. So if I wanted to translate ich reite gern or the ich reite gerne, you would have to literally translate that as I ride horses enjoyably. And that sounds terrible. Nobody says that. So instead we would say, I really enjoy riding horses or I love riding horses or I really like riding horses, right? Both forms of the verb gan and gana are acceptable. They really mean the same thing. They're really the same word. Germans go back and forth between those two words. It often just depends on what sounds better. Here are a few examples of how to use gan or gana with just regular verbs to express that you enjoy doing something. Ich wandere gerne. I like to hike or I like hiking. Ich wandere sehr gerne. I really like hiking or I love hiking. Wir kochen gerne. We like to cook or we enjoy cooking. Often it is used with questions. So for instance, if somebody says, tanzt du gerne or tanzt du gern, it means, do you enjoy dancing? Do you like dancing? Not right now, this minute. It doesn't mean uh, as much as, would you like to dance with me? Uh, that would be, möchtest du mit mir tanzen? Uh, it just means, do you like dancing in general? Do you enjoy dancing in general? With the verb haben, to have, the adverb gern takes on a slightly different meaning. So gern haben or gerne haben means to like someone or something quite a bit. It's somewhere between like and love. It's somewhere in that area, like like a lot. Here are some examples. Maria hat Lena gern. Maria really likes Lena. Markus hat seinen Salamander gern. Markus really likes his Salamander. Hast du deinen Hund gern? Do you like your dog? Do you really like your dog? Very often when English speakers use the word to love, Gernhaben would be a better or more appropriate translation into German, especially if it's not like a romantic kind of love. So Lieben is technically the direct translation of to love, but English speakers use the word to love for a much, much wider range of things and emotions than German speakers use the word Lieben. For more information, check out my video, How to Appropriately Say I Love You in German. On cautionary side note, there is one German expression that is meant in a sarcastic way. Du kannst mich mal gern haben. Literally, that means you can like me very well. That is not an invitation for friendship. That is a sarcastic statement. It is not to be taken literally. It is basically telling somebody off. 
if somebody, uh, if you want to tell somebody off, you can say, du kannst mich mal gern haben, as a no way scram, or in more extreme situations, please feel free to perform anatomically implausible acts on yourself. Very commonly, you will hear people use the word gan or gana to very efficiently answer a question in the affirmative. So, for instance, if somebody offers you something or if somebody asks you whether you enjoy doing something, you can just say, ja gan, ja gerne. So, for instance, möchtest du noch etwas Kaffee? Would you like some more coffee? You could just say, ja gerne. Yes, I would like some more. I would love some. Or if somebody asks you, hast du Lust ins Kino zu gehen? Would you like to go to the movies or would you like to go to the cinema with me? Or in general, with us, with anybody? Uh, you can also just answer, ja gerne, if in fact you would like to go. So that would just mean like, yeah, I would love to. So as you can see, gern, gerne is used very commonly. It is an essential word to know if you want to be relatively fluent in conversational German especially. Thanks for watching. Danke fürs Zuschauen. Take care, everybody. Mach's gut. Bye. Tschüss.